I'm at another shop, a new shop I picked up who just stopped doing air conditioning. It's a body shop and they having the same problem. The insurance companies are not paying them enough to make it even worth having an air conditioning machine or bothering taking one of their technicians from doing what they do most productive. What does a body shop do, guy do? If he's a frame guy, he's productive on the frame machine. If he's a body man with Bondo, he's productive doing metal work. If he's a painter, he's productive doing painting. But they do air conditioning so few times in a month or a year that they're slow at it. And when they don't do it quite right, they mess up, it wastes time. Sometimes it comes back and that costs them money and a reputation. So if you don't do something all the time and you never really get good at it, why do it in the first place if you're never going to become proficient? So what's happening is air conditioning, the machines, the equipment has become so expensive. And here in California, you're required to have a refrigerant analyzer. And here I am, I'm checking out the refrigerant on this car. And we have 100% R134 and 5% 5 air mixed in with the refrigerant, which is a little bit on the high side. Um, so what's happening is the insurance companies are not paying them the money they need to actually do the vehicle, so they're just giving up. Either they run out of refrigerant and lately they're getting a big shock because before they were buying refrigerant for say $79 for a 30 pound container to $119 for a 30 pound container and that just kept going up and down yearly. It's a seasonal price and now it's gone up to like $320, $340 for a 30 pound container and the insurance company is not going to uh, let them charge the price they need to charge to mark it up for the percentage of increase in price. So they're just stopping. They say, I give up. That's it. They're not going to pay me. I'm not going to do it. Another thing what's been happening as the cars are becoming more complex, if their machine has a high percentage of air in it, some cars won't work very good. And then that's a comeback. Well, instead of that painter or body shop man or the metal man or whatever, working on a vehicle making money, they're losing money because they keep trying to re-diagnose why the uh, car is not working properly and the customer is getting mad and complaining and they don't know what's wrong because they don't own one of these. At least here in California, Bureau of Automotive Repair requires every shop who's doing any air conditioning, you have to have one of these in your shop and you must be, you give either a printout or like I do, I take a picture of the screen on the vehicle and I include it on the invoice. So the um, customer has a copy of the invoice of proving that the refrigerant is pure or not pure coming out of the vehicle. Uh, you talking about a good machine is going to cost you anywhere from forty-five to eighty-five hundred dollars for a good machine. We're going to say average. I'm going to tell you six thousand plus gets you a better machine. Uh, you have to have an identifier in it. That's just a must. It's a bonus if you have a micron meter in it. Uh, most guys don't even know what they are or how to use them or what their benefit are. And that's a whole nother discussion due to lack of education. Uh, that's about it. So yeah, here I am. Another shop has just given up on air conditioning altogether. Uh, just recently, what they would only let me do was the YF vehicles because they were not going to invest in a new piece of equipment for the YF refrigerant, it's just not worth it for them. Uh, the insurance companies have made that just like a no-go thing. If they're doing it, they're doing it at a loss and they don't even know they're doing it at a loss. Uh, they don't even get paid mechanical labor rate and the mechanical labor rate that the insurance companies pay body shops here in San Francisco is so low, they can't even afford to pay a decent mechanic a wage at that mechanical labor weight that they get paid. There's not enough money left over. So if you're a mechanic and a body shop has an opening for you as a mechanic inside a body shop, don't go because you will never make good pay because they will never get paid enough to have a leftover margin of net profit to even pay you enough with decent wages. So don't even go there. Um, all right, see you guys just a uh, kind of a talk of the industry like I've always said before why more and more shops are stopping doing air conditioning uh, especially body shops I'm 
dealing right after body shops. They get hammered by the insurance company. So more and more are actually dropping out of it once they find out what the real cost is and what their real losses are. See you guys.